Over 100 million adults in the United States suffer from chronic pain. Opioids are the most commonly prescribed pain management treatment, despite the, the risks of long-term opioid use, including addiction and overdose. There are a variety of effective behavioral treatment options for long-term management of pain, including cognitive behavioral therapy, health coaching, and mindfulness. However, patients often don't receive these treatments. What we sought to find out is if patients with chronic pain are interested in receiving behavioral treatments and if doctors are recommending them. So we surveyed over 1,000 patients with chronic pain to understand if they were interested in receiving different types of pain treatments, whether they were using them, and if their providers had recommended them. We also asked questions about addiction treatment and opioid misuse. So patients were overwhelmingly interested in behavioral treatment for pain. Almost 90% of our sample reported that they were interested in behavioral treatment. Despite this interest, over 30% said that their doctor had never recommended behavioral treatment, and 32% said that they had never used behavioral treatment. They were receiving and being recommended medication. Over 80% of the sample said that they had received a recommendation for medication and were using it. This tells us that doctors are recommending medication much more than behavioral treatments. Importantly, patients who received a recommendation for a treatment were more likely to have received that treatment. This makes sense logically. Patients rely on their providers to provide treatment options. So if a doctor never recommends an alternative to medication, how could the patient know to pursue it? Alarmingly, 63% of our sample who used opioids for their pain endorsed behaviors consistent with opioid misuse. Uh, surprisingly, these patients were more likely to be interested in behavioral treatment than those who did not screen positive for opioid misuse. Of the patients who used opioids for their pain management, only 23% had ever received a recommendation for addiction treatment. This means that many patients with chronic pain who misuse their opioids have never even heard about the possibility of addiction treatment from their providers. So in summary, these findings indicate that patients with chronic pain are interested in behavioral treatments, and patients who misuse opioids may be even more interested in behavioral treatments. Providing treatment recommendations to patients with chronic pain could increase interest and eventual engagement in pain and addiction treatments. These findings indicate that in order to combat the chronic pain and opioid crises in the United States, public health efforts are needed to train providers to more effectively talk to their patients with pain about opioid use.